plug in an affirmation before you go into a situation and how does that feed your mind? Yeah, so what happens is that your mind, your subconscious doesn't know the difference between real and not real. So you need to trick it. And, and as we move on in, in life, we start to get more and more intelligent about what we're trying to do to our brain. So sometimes it gets harder, right? So when you're just new and just dumb to it all, you can say a few things to yourself and you absolutely believe it. Later on it takes more work. So you've got to trick your mind into understanding and believing. And you say to yourself, oh, you know, I'm a genius, I'm successful. I'm going to win this deal. I'm so happy and grateful I have already served my customer to the best of my ability and they're very happy with the product and they want more. And I'm so happy and grateful my business is building. You know what, it could be a year. Sometimes I've gone for a year without salary, right? A year without salary. But the back end of that is, is good money. But unless I am take the, the attitude of a farmer and, and plow the fields and, and ex, you know, expect that there's going to be some weeds and keep pulling the weeds and wait for the rains to come through, unless I take that outlook, I'm never going to have a harvest. So I, I, I push every day. And I don't count the negatives, right? Because who cares? No one cares. Only you care about that, right? If you say, I made a hundred calls and I didn't get one, who cares about it? No one cares about that, right? So don't even log it. Just, just focus on your success. Another thing that is also important is to, is to take note of your, of your past successes. Take a log of that, right? Write it down. Because if you go, when you have the tough times, and we all have them, it's a good time to, to go back and think, you know what, I remember the time that I got through something much worse than this, and I can do it again.